All right, should be live at this point. Let me check. All right, should be. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I like this armor. Cosmetic. I just don't like the mask. That's the only part. I wish there was a way to like take the mask off. They also need to add a way to customize your appearance. Like, I think it's ridiculous that you can't change the way your character looks. Like, they did that with Cyberpunk 2077 when it first came out. They were like, oh yeah, this is a game about like extreme body modifications, but you can't change the way your character looks at all. Supposedly, there's even better fishing gear that you can get. Like, Vengeful Fishermen's or something. So, effectively, I was reading about the... Checkpoint unlock. Huh. Oh, yeah, we hadn't... I'm just gonna do this. Uh... I was reading about the event... And the event is effectively just fish. That's that's it. Oh, interesting. You can't. OK, so we had caught these. We had gotten these food items. Scale dust. Is. What we want to consume. Yeah, I think we have... So we were trying to get the memento. I think we have a... Yeah, Aquanaja. Albanaja. I kind of like the, the white-looking fish. I think we're I think we're good. I think as far as fishing goes, we are prepared to hatch a whole bunch of fish. Uh, we could we could also fast travel over here. Yeah, let's get the um, the bait as well. I was strongly debating playing El Elder Scrolls Online. I was like actually really debating. Um, Oh, nice, we got Smolder Hide. Um, yeah, I was debating playing Elder Scrolls Online. Is that guy going into Murkguard? If they're going into Murkguard, I might actually follow them. I want to try and get this fast travel location. I don't know what the best way to go is. It's like straight through here and then around. Oh, the, yeah, this guy. Oh, there's a group. There's a group here. Oh, well, my plans have completely changed. Okay.
Oh, what the F? You can run up this? Oh, what the F? Okay. Oh my, that hurts a lot. You have no idea what's going on. I have no idea. chest oh nice no way I'm following these guys where, where are these guys going if they're going in here I may as well follow them is there a chest here there is that's why we can't get left behind. If we get left behind, we're gonna get bummed. This is crazy. This is how you get into Merc Guard. You just follow like a giant group of people. Split up. No. Oh, there's another chest right here. No, the bush. Creed. We're falling behind. The greed is making us fall behind. Crazy, we're getting such good loot.
Nice. Oh, this is this is crazy. Wait, how close are we to the? Oh, I can't. I can't go there. I need to get in there. I'm just gonna follow the group, honestly. drops from them. <laughs> Which way are they going now? Oh, there's a corrupted mon monolith. <laughs> I 
Nice. Oh, dude, we got 10 expertise for the life staff. I want to go. I want to go up here, but I don't know if it's a good idea. Like this might be the opportunity to get the fast travel location. We can spawn all the way up here. Dude, getting here without a group of people just doesn't seem possible. I am Maradosa. I have managed to make my way to Eternum and to this broken mountain in search of knowledge. But I dare not to enter this unholy place. You, however, you might be the one I've been searching for. Precisely. You have no doubt heard of the Tempest and have come seeking her ruin. But what do you know of Captain Isabella? What does anyone know? I intend to discover what madness drove her to this point. This place is not just a fortress. It's a window into the mind of Isabella de Leon. Inside you will find a phantasmagoria, a construct that the sane would find impossible. This is where the waking world and nightmares combine. Where Isabella's mind and memory shape reality. Enter and you will see what I mean. Sweet. Um. Yeah, Merkgard Cathedral. Yeah, I probably should go back with the group, but. Oh, cutscene. So it came to pass. The heart of the Tempest, Captain Isabella herself, defeated. Abandoned by the power for which she traded everything. The Soul Wardens were victorious, pulling Aeternum and the world back from the precipice of doom. But at what cost? So many of their numbers corrupted or lost. Their fragile alliance crumbling as the factions fight for dominance. And what of the allies they believe they've gained in the angry Earth? It will be clear soon enough that the vengeful hand of nature would grasp far more than equilibrium. And the void exposed when the surge in corruption abates would become a threat of itself. As the soulless remnants of this conflict rise from the battlefield to find purpose and power in a source as yet unrealized. Yes, the hapless inhabitants of Eternum will soon learn that this chapter may have come to a close, but the real horrors have just begun. Sick. Cool cutscene. Um, yeah, if I'm like solo around here, I'll probably die. Yeah, Commander Thor. Yeah, that's brutal. 
Here, let's sit in the sit in the throne. <laughs> um. Yeah, because you don't die in Eterna. Like, you just become corrupted or lost. Or you just respawn. Yeah, there are a couple other people here. I don't know... Uh... The Tempest's Heart Expedition? We'll check it out. Cool area. So we are like at the base of the giant mountain that you can see like across the map, basically. <gasps> Tempest's heart. I'm searching for journal pages. Nice. Yeah, you need they want gear score 600 i'm gear score 509 it's gonna take me a while to get my gear score up Yeah, this this life staff's just better. Life life steal is very powerful. That's not bad. Why does that look like a piece of greenwood? That's so weird. Icon bug. It looks like a piece of greenwood here, and then in the other icon, it looks like a bow, but it's actually an ice gauntlet. <laughs> what the fuck? I was just checking something. Oh, we got a tier three major breach breach cache. Oh. It's actually pretty good.
Cool. <clears throat> yeah, just from doing that, that like small amount of time, we got all of this freaking loot. Uh, there, we can't do the Temp Tempest Heart expedition. Uh, we're going to need a gear score of 600. It's it's very end game stuff like they added this. Uh, quite quite far after the initial release of the game. But yeah, I have no idea where that group went at this point. I definitely hear somebody's aggroing that down there. Yeah, there are no more there are no more corrupted portals, so I'm just gonna fast travel out of here. Yeah, we just got like instantly downed twice. All right, so we're going to do we're going to do some fishing now. That was that was quite a fun time though. Doing those chest runs with a giant group is like one of the coolest aspects of this game, I think. How did we get I think this mortal mire area? Yeah, the music is kind of getting to be a little bit too much. There we go. Yeah, I think this is where we fished last time, right? Right over here. And we had found like a dozen fishing hotspots over here. Now, the thing is, I don't see any on the map right now. I think you have to be close to them. Yeah, I think you have to be close to them. I know we found some in Eden Grove. Yeah, there's one. I see one in the distance. Uh, we need to put on... Fishing gear. Hopefully that alligator doesn't come over here. But yeah, so I didn't really finish what I was saying earlier. This event is primarily based on fishing. So what we were doing yesterday was basically exactly what we needed to be doing. Um, these hotspots, fishing them with the bait that we have is the best way to gain the we get 10 event reputation each time that's how you get event reputation so you just need to fish a lot
Oh, and I need to eat that food. I need to eat this. There we go. That person's fighting like all of the stuff in the area. Oh, 28 meter cast. Pro fisherman. I just like cast what happens if I cast like right here Why are the animals so loud? It's a dangerous fishing location, but that's why there's so many of these hotspots. will say this legendary fishing rod makes it significantly easier to reel in fish. Like the amount of fish we're getting Much higher than we were with the lower level fishing rod just because I can reel them in much faster I think I cast too far that time. Nice. Yeah, the large ones uh, give you a, a higher chance of getting the legendary drop which is worth one premium coin uh the premium coin which you can use to get way cooler stuff than the typical yeah we must be right on the border of it Yeah, our cast distance is just insane. There's another large one. Very nice. 
We have four more bait. That was, I think that was too far of a cast. I think we got a max cast like right here. Yeah. I'm getting better at landing in the hot spots. It's not super easy because the way that the game shows like depth perception is very strange. Twenty eight point four meter cast. Yeah, that was a large surgeon too, and that felt easy to reel in. And those those elk are getting really annoying. They just like keep making the same noise over and over again. I'm probably gonna turn down the environmental sounds. But yeah, it's clear that like now that we're on the second day of the medley fair Like other people have uh, Picked up on the fact that this is a great location for fishing too far yeah oh we ran out of bait um I think it's daytime, right? Yeah. Yeah, the sun is right there. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes whether it's night or daytime. Uh, alligator, please turn around. Yeah, our star metal order Man, I gotta I gotta turn that down. We gotta figure out how to uh, audio That's not ambient um, It's vocals Yeah, 50% Yeah, this whole area is tapped now. There are like two other people fishing it. It really does make a difference. Like if someone else is fishing the location, you can really tell. They're not skinning them because I think if you don't skin them, it lowers the respawn time. I could be wrong, though.
But yeah, this event is all about just like going ham catching fish. For the next like 20 minutes, I'm just gonna, all I'm gonna do is try and catch fish. Because we consumed that food that increases our chance. And the rate at which we're getting large fish is pretty high. I'd say higher than yesterday for sure. This one's tapped now. Yeah, we get, uh, what did that item do? Dude, I'm not in combat. I'm not in combat. But yeah, you only get like 10 faction experience each time you catch something. It's totally a grind. This uh, snail bait doesn't seem to be doing too well. I'm gonna change to, it's bigger fish, right? Catching bigger fish. Yeah. Yeah, even mediums give you a decent chance. Oh, nice. There's actually just a regular fishing hotspot over here. Yeah, the bait that you want to be using is the maudlin bug. It seems like we were catching way more large sturgeon. I'm going to switch to... Switch back to premium snail bait. Yeah, 
I, th I think this is a large one. Yep, there we go. Yeah, the premium snail bait definitely seems to work a little bit better. And this area is tapped. Last time we were here, there were so many. And now I've seen like two or three other people fishing this location. I bet it's way worse in other areas though. Because this is one of the highest level areas in the, on the map. feel when New World becomes Fishing Simulator 2023? This area still seems good though. Like, I've seen a couple people fishing these spots, but when I was in Everfall, there were multiple people fishing each spot. They were disappearing like rapidly. It was basically like whack-a-mole. But here, it's like I've got spots that I can run to after I finish. After I finish one, I can do the one on the left and so on. There's another large. Nice. Yeah, fishing a little bit inland. You don't have to stand right on the coast. It doesn't seem to make much of a difference other than I don't aggro the alligators and I can cast a little bit farther without having to stand in the water and get slowed down. Yeah, we're we're breaking them in at a good rate right now. Our farm rate is pretty good. That's an alligator. Sneaking out of the water like that. I think that was a little bit short. Yeah, if we just stay away from the shore a little bit, the alligators don't aggro, and thus we don't need to kill them over and over again, lowering our farm rate. Nice, there's another large. I think that was too far? That was too short. It's got to be somewhere right there. There we go. Yeah, I think I will give Elder Scrolls Online a try. From what I've heard, it's a very good MMO. Um, uh, give me a sec, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Um. Yeah, I don't know about farming this area anymore. Like, it doesn't seem like the spawn rate's very good. I will try and get that while I'm here. I don't know if it's worthwhile. Ah, there are two more hotspots over here. As long as we can avoid the alligators, the farm rate's pretty good. But it drops significantly. Also, I think it's nighttime now, so. It's very difficult to cast into that from this distance. From that angle, I mean. Because if you're doing very short casts, it makes it considerably more difficult to reel the fish in. And also, you have to let go of the casts like really quickly. I do want to do... Oh, the fishing hotspot's active. I can't hit that from here. And that alligator is kind of in the way. I'm either casting too far or too short. That's too short, so we gotta go right there. Aha! Yeah, it typically takes like two casts. Oh, one just spawned right next to us. Typically takes me like two casts. Oh, this is a large one, nice. Do not come any closer, alligator. Now that was a medium. Medium's still perfectly fine. As far as I can tell, we still have six minutes on that food. That's the question. Do I do I farm the secret fishing hotspot or do I keep doing the summer medley fair hotspots? Nice. Well, that answers the question. Can I max cast into that? Oh, it's still just a little bit too far away. Now, the alligator is going to aggro if we go over there too much. Oh, that's so annoying. There's an alligator over there. Go to the other side. We could probably survive fighting an alligator, but it's just going to take more time. coming it's coming right for me uh, i just aggroed that that's the wrong thing
The stags seemingly have quite a bit less HP than the alligators. So I don't mind fighting the, um, fighting the stags. This is a large one, I think. Now a medium. Oh, it is a large. Nice. I like how it just like pops out of the freaking ground. When you're at that angle. Here, maybe I can hit that one from all the way over here. Axe cast. Ah. That's one of the benefits of having such a freaking... Uh, can it hit me from here? No, it can't. Oh, it's it's going around. Oh, it's definitely going to be distracting his F. Don't be distracted by the alligator chomping at you right below. We have to catch more fish. Yeah, you only get three faction reputation gain from the crates. The crates are the worst drop. The best drop is the large Eternum Surgeon. Look, it's not going away, but I guarantee you if I start shooting at it, it'll go away. This is what I'm talking about, though. This is why I don't fight these, because they're armored. It's like it can almost figure out that it has to go. Oh, you know what? This is getting so annoying. Missing like every other shot. That is why we avoid the freaking alligators because that amount of time is oh, that was way too far there we go is it nighttime now i think it's nighttime now could use the premium firefly bait Ooh, dragonfish. Yeah, having a super long cast distance is very beneficial. I've had to get used to this legendary rod, though, because even a medium cast is like a max cast on a treated wood fishing pole. Like we're doing medium casts and it's 16 meters. That was like our max cast previously. And it does functionally make a difference in the game, which is cool. Like our catch rate is significantly higher due to our fishing gear. These large paddlefish are not bad. I'm not complaining about getting large paddlefish. It's just debatable. Like, should I be going for the sturgeon? Probably. Because it's a limited time event. 
right? Ah, unless I get one of those. Pretty sure those are worth um, like 50 coin or something. Yeah, these, does it say, yeah, can be used in cooking to produce powerfully enhancing foods. Oh, come on. I can't not hit that if it just spawns right next to me. It actually is more difficult to hit when it's that close to me, though. This is one of the best places to fish, I think. Uh, for this event because it's a high level area People don't really farm this location The alligators are really annoying to deal with there's a large Yeah cast distance does not affect rarity chance the only thing that affects rarity chance is the bait and Your gear Although it's not the only thing the two things that aggroing? No. Yeah, I want my cast to be at least 10 meters because anything below 10 meters and it starts making it really annoying to... That just aggroed something else. There must be someone over there. Man, this is, I, I have to say, this is very addicting. Like, they definitely got me with this. Like, we were already going to try and be fishing legend. And now I have all of these hot spots that I can just keep hitting over and over again. As long as other people don't steal them. Ah, oh, we got we got the lar We have 14 large Eternum Surgeons at this point. Max cast. Oh, nailed it. 29.9 meter cast. Ah, oh, there's another large. Let's get that max cast. Ah, oh, almost. Yeah, it makes me very happy that you can't aggro enemies into other people. Man, we have 16. We have 16 freaking large Eternum Sturgeons. So you, you can actually aggro enemies into other people. Large spear tooth shark. We 
get some hits on this so we get the weapon mastery. We caught a large spear tooth shark. I've never seen one of those before. I didn't know there were sharks in this game. I was saying just like yesterday, I was like, oh, they should add sharks to the game or something that you can catch. And it's like, uh, yeah, they, there is a shark in the game. And you can actually catch it in fresh water. And this secret fishing hotspot is insane. We're just catching rare after rare right now. I haven't caught like a single salmon. Just caught all rares. All right, that, that's it. That, that area is tapped. Hmm, what should we go for? Still named enemies. I don't think either of these really matter. It's the same row twice. Um, it's wait. This whole thing is almost symmetrical if you look at it. The card is almost symmetrical, dude. That same thing just spawned right next to us that noise why did it make that noise it's like the second time this hot spot spawned like right next to us and those elk noises like they're cool but dude they need to lower the rate at which they make that noise I'm thinking we do this hotspot and then we offload our stuff. Because at this point, it's getting a little ridiculous. Like, we caught 16 large Eternum Sturgeon. And also, our food buff ran out. So, those are two major reasons. Yeah, that's that's insane. Yeah, see, we got our three sportsman spoils, and now we're not getting any more. Like, you can only get a certain amount, because you get diamond gypsum from each one. Yeah. Soggy smock. That's not as good as what we have. All right, let's, um... Well, I wanted to get to that... I wanted to do the music thing over here. I have a sneaking suspicion that we're not going to be able to go directly to it. We're going to have to go through this and there's going to be a really hard enemy right here. Maybe we can get up here? I doubt it. I doubt it. No. There's that one spot in Murkguard where you can just run up the wall. Which is pretty funny. Yeah, there's a archer. That guy's gonna aggro us from really far, so we may as well fight him. We 
can just out heal their damage. That's the great thing about the life staff. I mean, reduce DPS, but you can just out heal their damage for the most part. I love how earlier I was like, you can't aggro enemies into other people. And it's like, uh, yeah, you can. You can do that. Lightning beetle. Cool. All right. Song selection. Maudlin bug. We, I don't think we did part two. We'll do part one and then part two. I think this gives us a buff to fishing, so we probably should have done this before we started, but eh, whatever. Got the 10 maudlin bug bait and the 5 maudlin dust. But then we play it again. I think we have to play it three times. That's a weird one. Oh, welcome back, Kamal. This one's more difficult than the first one. It's just like very weird timing. Still playing balloons? Nice. Did you did you eventually get to Did you eventually get to level 200? I like this effect, the maudlin dust. Nice. Oh, that was the sound earlier. Season, new season level. Yeah, this this is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter. We may as well try and go for that. Yeah, kill bees, kill loss. We'll we'll do all that. Gotta get my gotta get my dailies. Gotta complete my dailies. You're on round 192. Nice. I think it gets like considerably harder. Uh, after like level 150, right? Opulent bestowment? Oh! Shower me with the tokens. I can't believe we got 16 large sturgeon. Your game is dying. Is your phone is your phone overheating?
Yeah, the fillets are kind of bad. Nice. Nice. Yeah, the drop chance on the large significantly higher. You're getting two FPS. Ah, rest in pepperonis. I think we have to... Do we have a mission to... Craft... We have to kill one more beast. Oh, we have to complete a mutated expedition. That is very difficult. The shields are typically the hardest. Oh, that's where... Okay, this... The Siren Queen? Melpomene. Is... Right here. Getting in there is... A nightmare, because you need to start here. Go all the way through here. And then you can finally reach that. But the way they constructed it is similar to way that, the way they constructed uh, Merc Guard. Where you need to go through this insanely difficult area to reach the fast travel point. Which is fine, because you just make a camp like over here or whatever. Um... But that's who we have to defeat. And it's a trial. So we may try and see if we can get like a group of people to do it. Because I'm sure you get decent loot. Oh yeah, this is bugged out now. It's showing a firefly icon. And then it's showing the armor that we're using icon but it's an ice gauntlet it's actually not a bad ice gauntlet either we're not really doing a crit build though yeah these are all just gear score 500 yeah this warhammer is insane like, if we do strength build, this may be what we want. This also we can um, put on the market. I don't think these blue ones are really worth much. These three are actually decently worth. Um... This is not as good as what we have, but it's bind on equip, so we can market it. I'm going to just deconstruct all the greens. Yeah, these are all named bind on pickup. That's what we were wearing before. Not bad. This is bind on equip, focus int. This is kind of doo doo. Strength con, bind on pickup. Con dex, net shot. That wouldn't be great. In strength.
Rain of Arrows. Uh, that's actually not bad, but Rain of Arrows is what makes it not make sense. Strength con, reduce the duration of weakened disease, exhaust, and rent. That's actually not bad. Int con, uh, duplicating toast. That's very strange. Int con, oh, max health. Yeah, this one's very strange. Find on equip strength int. Strength int is such a weird combo because there's only like one item, the blunderbuss, which scales on strength and int. Yeah, this amulet's actually not bad though. Int con uh empower health. Yeah. All right, so we need to go to a medley fair location. I'll probably go to the Weaver's Fen one just because I feel like they're going to be the least amount of people there. But seeing as it's like the second day of the Medley Fair event, it's going to be very popular. Oh, you can't move while you're doing that. Or you get 250 rep for that. Welcome one, welcome all to the summer medley fair. This year is a complete triumph, thanks to you. Yeah, we can't, uh... So I, I read about the patterns the patterns work in a way where you use them in a recipe. Yeah, we want, we definitely want this then. We absolutely want this. We want, we basically want all of these. These four things and this. And the fishes fall is a cool fishing pole skin, but I like this shine of the surgeon look. Yeah, the fishing pole we're using is insanity. So we're probably not going to get this. I wish I could just get the skin for it. Yeah, we need to get the medley fair shuffle as well. We're almost virtuoso, but here, here's the thing. Like we're at 4,800 reputation. Like we get average 10 rep per thing we catch five to 10. Like it's a grind. There's other stuff you can do like play music, but there's always someone playing music there because they were stupid and didn't add a cooldown to the amount of, uh, yeah, so we can turn all of our scales into coins. I don't think this gives rep. This does not give rep. Yeah, 10 fillets for one medley fair token. Which makes the fillets probably the worst thing, but we can cast our you get 25 rep, event rep. 
Every time you get one of these, you get an extra 25 faction reputation. Enchanted Eternum Sturgeon Fishbone, which you cast into the fire. Nice. And then the mount to catch, uh, we, we just need this, which means we just have to get our faction standing up. I feel like if I ran this on my PC, my PC would blow up. Yeah, Balloons is very poorly optimized, as far as I recall. Alright, is there anything else I need to do here? I don't think so. We can salvage all of the fish we caught. Yeah, you get electric eel bait when you catch an eel, and it gives a large boost uh, uh, to chance of catching bigger fish in freshwater. But I thought that that's what... Oh, snail bait gives a medium boost. No, premium snail bait gives a large boost to catching bigger fish in fresh water gives a large boost electric eel bait gives a large boost so these do the same thing the best bait i think is premium electric eel bait i think that's the rarest type of bait for fresh water at least what do we get from the shark We get tender fish fillet. We didn't we didn't really get anything from it. Yeah, you get dragonfish jaw from those, which is an ingredient tier five. Magical reagent. Yeah, we caught a, a fair amount. Mostly catching Eternum Sturgeon, though. That's what we're targeting. Yeah, and at this point, we have plenty of seagrass, soaked wood and stuffing um in order to craft these things yeah so we we did everything we needed to do there We have eight premium tokens. Oh, wait, I can just fast travel while I'm in that location. You must defeat that fortified BAD. What is that? I remember the giant like blimps, like the the end game blimps you have to fight against. Yeah, we should go to Brimstone Sands. I could also try and get this.
this location right here. It's the BAD, but stronger. Is that like the giant, like, skull blimp? I remember there's like this giant blimp at the end. Oh, th somebody's actually doing the corrupted portal right now. I can hear it. I think? Yeah, there are people doing it. Yeah, you get minor breach cast. Minor breach cash. Which is kind of meh. Like, this is what we got. Eh, it's kind of meh. Wouldn't be bad for someone leveling, but... I'm going to try and do this while I'm here. You do the standing the gathering speed cool that's a skin it's a big purple balloon that is a lot of up but it's really slow okay yeah i remember playing balloons a decent amount I remember playing it a decent amount and then they like updated it or something. Oh yeah, that that was the kill beasts. The turkeys count as beasts. lot of oh hp yeah, yeah yeah i kind of like in my brain when i read up i meant like it it like i knew what you meant i knew what you meant by it like i i didn't question it i was just like a lot of up yeah that that makes sense <laughs> I need to check to see if you get faction rep for doing this because if you do I might farm this as well I think the thing that gets you the most rep is dancing at each location though this gets us the bait no you don't get any faction rep for doing this that's actually really bad you just get the bait which makes it easier to catch bigger fish. So indirectly, you get more rep by doing this. But I really think you should get rep by playing music.
Ah, uh, uh, this dude just missed out. Probably going to be faster to go down this way. You get 250 faction rep for just dancing in the center of the medley fair. Are you on round 198? I feel like if you're at 198, you can make it. I believe. Oh, lodestone takes forever. No, you know what? Screw that. I don't need lodestone. I can't remember. Do these boars drop? Yeah, thick hide. Well, we can actually use thick hide now because we got our tannery leather working skill high enough that we can make layered leather now, which requires thick hide and a ton of raw hide. So we went to this one already. We'll go to this one now. Yeah, it's a shame that at the higher levels in balloons, like, the game just starts lagging like crazy. Yeah, so you get 250 event reputation by doing that. Which is a lot because you only get for even catching a large Eternum Sturgeon. Yeah, the way that they have the playing a uh, instrument on stage where people can just do it over and over again is broken. But you can go to each location and dance and there are four locations so you can get a thousand faction xp per day imagine balloons on a nokia <laughs> Why is my dance not working? Do we have to do a wiggle dance? Yeah, I guess we have to do the wiggle dance. I turned off the game music, so it just sounds... It's like empty. I like the medley fair music. I just don't like the absolutely rapid repetitious music in certain areas of the game so we did that one i don't think we did the bright brightwood one yet Oh, we did. I think we did it four times now. We got this one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, there's just always going to be someone playing a song right there on stage. Um, it's very stupid. 
Nice. We got new rare music sheet. Nice, nice. This we already have. There's no way to salvage them, so... Yeah, both of these earrings are decent. Um... I need to go into town and I need to refine our star metal. Yeah, so our star metal expired. Yeah, we need to make, we need to get, we need 100 smelting so badly. Yeah, we just need to go and mine a ton of iron ore. Yeah, we're going to have to start doing iron runs. Um, and I, I mean, like, we can check iron ore on the market, but I guarantee you it's going to be ridiculously expensive. Yeah, 53 cents. You know what? I'm just going to do it. Like, I need to get this level up to 100 because it's consuming so much inventory space. Yeah, see, our inventory is capped out because of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to spend even more coin on it. I don't I really don't feel like doing an iron run. I really don't feel like it. I'll spend like another 300 coin on it. Bless all those who do iron runs and put it up for sale. Here, here's 300 coin. Oh, so close. Got level 100 smelting now. Nice. See, you can use your star metal ore to make these things. I don't know what Azerite Chunk does. But yeah, that's that's all end game.
Interesting. Yeah, we haven't done the heart gem stuff yet. Here, we can get rid of a bunch of our gold and platinum ore. And as for this, we just need more green wood. So probably should just go and chop trees for a bit. But yeah, our, our inventory space is becoming... It's increasing rapidly. I really hate this bug. Like, I know I have inventory in Everfall, right? But I can't see it here. So I have to click on it. And then, and then I can see it. But it's like, what if I have something in ebb and scale reach and I just forgot about it? Oh, I don't know. I have to click and check. Oh, there's nothing there. What about Monarchs Bluffs? Oh, I have something in Monarchs Bluffs. Yeah, it's very, very annoying. Um, I'm going to take all of my tools and put them in Brightwood. All of the weapons and apparel and tools just go in Brightwood. Will I remember that? Probably not. Probably not. I'm going to take all of this. Yeah, they need to they need to add like tabs or something to the top of this. Like I should be able to click on what I want to see. And I should be able to see what I have in here without having to scroll all the way down here. Like, oh, I have two star metal arrows. There's no way to check that without scrolling all the way down. Like it's it, it needs to be reworked, seriously. The inventory management in the system in this game is uh very bad. So what was I trying to do? I got a bunch of greenwood now. So let me use this rawhide. I'm just trying to refine all of my materials effectively so they don't take see thick hide now we can use the thick hide which thick hide will take up an absolute ton of space if you can't refine it into layered leather Yeah, same with silk threads. Like, if you don't get your weaving up, you can't use the silk threads you gather. And it just consumes a ton of space. I should go through and craft all these. I'm surprised our armoring's already level 60. Um... I think we already have tier three bag, right? Yeah. We need level 100 armoring for... Interesting. Yeah, 
Amrine Materia. These are all bind on pickup, though. That's that's jewel crafting. I, I'm much better off just typing in satchel, right? That's what they're called. Yeah. So the layered leather adventures satchel is the next level of of thing. So we have the the level of resources. We've got the silk. We've got the layered leather. We've got the steel. Um, we just need the greater rune of holding and we need level 100 armoring. Now, as for getting level 100 armoring, I think I, at some point, I'm just going to have to sit here crafting stuff probably craft all these sateen level 50 things eventually i'll do that uh what that's a that's a bug i haven't seen before I, like opened it twice we need rawhide. Yeah, let's actually do both of these. I'm just going to buy like, because we already just refined all of it. Whatever. 33 coin, we make that from like one sportsman spoils bundle. And it's better to upgrade these crude armaments. Um... Because if you craft enough of those, it'll get your experience up, and then you can end up crafting even more higher tier things. Oh, I definitely have 20 oil. It's just in Everfall. Uh, I think? Yeah, there we go. This is another way to get event reputation. I don't know. Um, acquire and deliver one summertime spotlights from a workshop. I don't know where that is. Oh yeah, and we need to collect these opulent, opulent bestowment, exquisitely packed basket. Yeah, we get a we got a premium and 163 coin. What is this? Weaving music reward? Okay. Oh, we got that for getting our weaving skill up. Yeah, we need to go to each settlement and collect these. Uh, I think they reset daily. Yeah, 12 hours. Oh, I wanted to check... Need to, I need to get stone block and linen. I'm just going to buy it at this point. I don't feel like... Uh, going out of my... I'd rather pay the coin. It's, it's so cheap. I think we needed 30 linen and 30 stone block. And then I wanted to check 
We need fibers for that. Did you get to round 200? What? Wait, are those just repeatable? What just happened? Did it take my stone block? Yeah, it definitely took my materials. Huh. I didn't get... I don't know how to check our faction sand in. It's debatable. Should I go for standing gain or gathering speed? Ah, gathering speed. I need to do some farming runs. My blade, my life. Choose your next contribution to our cause. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do Amrine. Definitely do that. Cool. All right, I wanted to check the... Oh, we can definitely do that. Yeah, we need to get our woodworking... Actually, no. Getting woodworking to 100 isn't really that necessary yet getting woodworking to 100 and logging to 100 like it you don't need woodworking 100 oh here's how you make the summertime spotlights and it gives you engineering skill you craft it at the engineering workbench okay We can just do some um, faction quests in Windsward because I want to buy I want to buy that house, that pink house. Yeah, you get I got ten event reputation. I want to buy this house. I have the coin for it, right? I have twenty thousand. It's only fifteen, but. I need level 30 territory stand in Windsward. Yeah, Brightwood is where I'm just keeping all of my... gear huh. There's so many syndicate players. Like, everyone's purple. You need reeds and greenwood. Reeds, I believe, are... Here. And as for greenwood, I think we... Just turned... Oh, no, we have greenwood right here. Kind of rough, like, the fact that the engineering workbench is on the other side of town.
Yeah, it's always good to keep some green wood and some iron ore. I think I did refine all of my iron ore though. Um, I'm gonna go and do... Oh, these guys are PVPing. I'm gonna go do the maudlin bug thing and I'm gonna go and do these faction quests. Should be somewhere right here, right? Right here. They're hard to see when it's daytime. You're on round 200? I imagine at two frames a second, it takes a while, right? It's pretty annoying that we don't get, um, reputation gain for doing this. Like, I really think you should get reputation gain. But then again, it does make sense because doing this, doing this for bait is, I think, enough. Like, I don't want to have to do this, like, 50 times in order to maximize my faction standing game. Because the thing with music is like, it can quickly become repetitive and annoying. Um, Oh, they can collect it as well. Interesting. I was going to go and do the action quest. You can just delete it. Uh, did you win? Monkey Buccaneer? Did you get past round 200? Yeah, I need to farm, I need to farm faction or territory standing in this area. And the best way to do that is just to play in this area of the map. Yeah, I don't really feel like doing more fishing right now. Like, we caught quite a few sturgeon. Right now, I don't think we need more tokens. I think we need more standing. And the nature of gaining standing is 
We just need to... Do the, do the dailies, effectively. Like, the way it's structured... Um... Yeah, we really need to get our logging up to 100. It's it's gotten pretty annoying that we don't have that. here a decent rawhide farm like they're really easy to kill the boars and cutlass keys are be are better though the cutlass keys boars are effectively right on the cusp of being high enough level to drop we're going the wrong way um just on the cusp of being high enough level to drop thick hide but they still drop rawhide so each one drops like 35 rawhide um and the way the crafting works in the game if you look at the market like rawhide still has a very fair price even though it's like a thing that even first level players can acquire because it's required throughout the crafting chan But the thing with Windsword is people heavily farm it because it's just an easy farming area. Yeah, blueberries are great in uh, cooking. We have a ton of cooking ingredients. We seriously need to just sit down and spend some time getting our cooking level up. Yeah, we need to go here. We need to hunt pepper peppered lynx. I think that person's farming them as well. There's a quest that takes you like all the way around all of these temples. The circle of stars, yeah. It basically just takes you around the entire ring, which encircles the starstone barrows. If you'd see that's like a ring around it. Yeah, I assume people are farming these links like all the time. I see one down here. Oh, there it is. Wow, we can track those from far away.
and I have to skin them. Yeah. Um, what? Oh. It was it was very hidden in the ground. Yeah, tracking and skinning skill is really good. Because you could just look at the radar, the top of the screen, and find what you're looking for. There's like all these bushes in the way, like, I could not see that Lynx without that level of tracking and skinning. So it actually does make a considerable difference. Which it should, like, it, it, in an MMO or any type of RPG, like, you gain levels, things get a little bit easier as a reward. But things never get so easy that, like, you can just sit back and have everything done for you. There's Iron Van. I might actually go for that. I need Iron Ore so badly. We got 31 iron ore from that. There, there are some really good iron ore farming routes. I just don't know if I want to go out of my way to just farm iron ore. Like at this point, I'd rather do faction quests, get my faction standing increased and uh, get my weapon mastery increased like if i'm doing these faction quests in windsward i'm getting my territory standing increase i'm getting my life staff mastery increased um it's just more enjoyable gameplay woggle smear level Here, I'm going to use the Void Gauntlet. Yeah, void ga the Void Gauntlet's really cool. It's like an aggressive... It's like a aggressive magic style of play. Yeah. I don't need to be wearing my fishing gear right now oh yeah well that's the only gear i have on me right now i accidentally forgot to take my actually decent gear Yeah, Sacred Ground is very powerful. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go Void Blade, because that makes it like into a melee. I think I want to go Decay. Versus Annihilation. Did we get everything in there? There's still something blue right here. Yeah, we got everything. Is that... That must be like star metal on top of the cliff? Yeah, up there. I think that was the quest that we needed to complete. Uh, defeating that Swaddle guy or whatever his name was. Yeah, that's that's sick. Boy Gauntlet's kind of cool. It's like offensive ranged weapon. It's weird.
need to defeat Captain Koropati. Oh, I know where they are. Yeah, I've done this quest. Essence rupture. Yeah, I think this is... the track that we want. Oh, that ability is so cool. Yeah, I think they are over here. Could do some fishing over here. I think they're here. Huh. Level 20 guy just chilling. Cool. This may be one of those scenarios where, like, they don't spawn very often. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're just like a regular... Regular uh, shield ranged enemy. If they die really easily and their respawn timer is very slow, then yeah, you can definitely run into... There's four right here somewhere. I think it's above? Yeah, those software, those softwood prayer beads are actually quite valuable because those are used even in endgame crafting. Yeah. A bonus of focus. So it guarantees focus on an item. Yeah, it says that there are a bunch of nodes right here. I don't see them though. Oh, you know what? They might be over on top. Yeah. All right, let's go back. I'll check this um, fishing hotspot, though, before I go. Because if it's active, I can't see it from here. But if it's active, we should try and hit it. Yeah, the, the drops from these enemies are not worth it. Yeah, I don't know, in terms of, like... In terms of, uh, conflict, I don't know... Whether Windsword is being contested or not. Yeah, I can't see the hotspot from here. So we have to go over there. There is someone fishing it, though, which is unfortunately not a good sign. But if we're here, we may as well. Interesting. Uh, interesting that there are no... I think the Eternum Sturgeon only spawns in freshwater. Because I haven't seen a single hotspot along this coast. Oh, yeah, it is active. Let me get that modlin bait modeling bait going how far is it gonna be oh, first try
Nice. halibut in a row halibut's a good fish to be catching though this is a this is a big one large cod these are pretty uh Pretty good fish to be catching here. Golden. I just wanted to go over here because uh, I wanted to make sure I was in the rare fishing hotspot location. bait weird we were getting very good fish when we were casting from that farther distance i don't know i, I have a suspicion that cast is distance does actually influence rarity Yeah, those cod are still difficult to reel in. I really wonder, like... As far as fishing goes, I should probably be fishing the... Eternum Sturgeon hotspots. Off it. They're, like, right there. I don't want to aggro them while I'm casting. So as far as the maudlin bait goes, I don't think that it's helping. Like they say with the maudlin bait, you can catch a turnum surgeon anywhere. But I've just done like 10 casts and there's no sign of that being the case. I think it has to be fresh water, but it doesn't say that. Yeah, after this cast, I'm going to go back. Um Yeah, I don't I don't feel like grinding that hot spot and also yeah, I, I just don't feel like grinding that hotspot. It's still active, but 
It's just like, how long do I want to spend doing that? You know what I mean? Um, oh, we completed our activity card. Nice. May as well go for that. And just by killing stuff in Windsward, we're gaining Windsward standing. Slowly but surely. Um, one of my main goals is to get our Windsward standing to 30 so I can buy a house. And part of me is thinking like, oh, well, I should just buy the cheap one so I can buy it now. But then I waste the opportunity to save 5,000 on a big house. And then if I buy the small house, I have to worry about transitioning to a big house. Um, so my theory is that it's just better to buy the big house. Grind, grind until I have 30 standing, level 30 standing get the big house and then do our do our stuff. Also, the big house is just fundamentally better uh, in several ways. Like there's a reason why I'm waiting. And 5000 gold is not a small amount. My blade, my life. Choose your next contribution to our cause. Yeah, and you do get, you do get territory standing by doing these. Yeah. So at this point, I am 21. Uh, maximum number of house items you can place. Oh, that seems really good. I'm going to go for that. Yeah, so you get a thousand territory standing by doing that. Sparkwood torches? Oh, that's not this isn't even where you make it then where do you where would you make sparkwood torches if not the furnishing location you uh, can do this yeah getting our arcana up to 100 would be really really good as well Oh, we should turn all of our wisps. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold off on that because there are certain things that require moats. Yeah, I don't know where to craft that. Would it be... Uh, not loom. Probably not kitchen. Oh, if we get water, we can craft that. Let's do that. Okay, at the wood shop. Timber and green wood. Okay. Yeah, we got to go to the different towns and get the bundles as well. That's like 250 standing. Each, each thing. So, what haven't we... I don't think we've been to Everfall yet. I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. Yeah, I don't think we collected this one. <laughs> We're gonna have to keep like a, a spreadsheet. Yeah, I didn't collect this one yet. I think we did the one in Windsward. We did the one in Brimstone Sands. And now we've done the one in Everfall. I definitely have lumber. I'm just salvaging all of this. Um, lumber in Windsward. Lumber. And then uh, linen, we need 28 linen, which we can just buy. Party glow banners. I assume that would be in the outfitting station. Wait, outfitting station is somewhere else. Hold on to the green wood. Yeah, no, it's it's not over here. Um, oh, that person's backyard is crazy. They they went absolutely nuts with the furnishing stuff in this game. It's it's the true end game. Finding like the super rare, uh, finding the super rare furnishing items. What is that person doing? Just crawling in the grass randomly? <laughs> uh, I think it's outfitting, right? Yeah, we need linen fiber. 10 linen, 5 fiber. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I got a little bit of armoring skill. Very little bit, like 192 armoring is not a lot at all. Um, I'm going to check to see how much standing gain I get. 367 and then 10 event reputation. The Everfall standing is nice, but 10 event reputation is like nothing. 
Uh, that is... Wait, what? I have another thing to turn in? Ah, there's a hidden one. Um... Yeah, 10 event standing, event reputation is like as much as we get for catching one surgeon. It's a giant oracalcum node right there. Wait, what? Did I click? Did I click that? That's, yeah, I guess I did. This one is grand. The other one was opulent. So we got 50 reputation from that one. Interesting. So we had gone to... I don't think their outposts don't have them. Uh, does Weaver's... Weaver's Fen has one. Yeah. It seems like the best ones to get are Windsward and Everfall because they're the most upgraded. Um, Brimstone Sands, Everfall, Windsward. We're going to see how upgraded this one is, but I doubt it's going to be very upgraded at all. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. This is why I never come to... This is why I never come to Weaver's Fan. Navigating this town is like, it's painful. It's actually painful. Oh, let me up. <laughs> Okay, this one is grand as well. And yeah, we get 50 event reputation for that. I don't know how to check my... Standing. Um... I should do PvP daily. Oh, interesting. If I use the bonus in Brightwood, I gain more experience? I don't know how that works. Oh, that's very good. Healing from damage done is very good. What is that? Is there a skill progression quest in here? Upstairs?
In temper. Not bad. Yeah, those are skill progression quests. This is a cool house. Wait, what? Can you lie, lay down in bed? Lie down in bed? <laughs> That's so goofy. It's like so, it's so random that you can do that. Like, I don't know why they added that as a feature. I guess it wasn't difficult. <laughs> but yes, that sends you to Restless Shore. Yeah, Reekwater has one as well. It basically just gives you event progression if you go to different settlements. Like, the whole thing is if you play the game enough, you will progress the Medley Fair event. But the best way to get your standing up is by doing the daily dance at each location. Because you get 250 XP just by dancing for like 15 seconds. Here's the reek water grand bestowment. Yeah, I think the grand bestowment is the lowest, lowest level. So what other areas are there? We did Windsward Monarch's Bluffs. Yeah. It's free to jump around like this, so... <laughs> Each one of these gives us as much experience as catching, like, five fish. So, it's kind of worth it. It's kind of worth it. And this one's an opulent. Yeah, it's got more stuff on it. We get 100 instead of 50 and more coin. So it's definitely worthwhile to at least do Everfall, Windsward, Monarch's Bluffs, Brimstone Sands. Reekwater and Weaver's Fen only had Grand Bestowment. I'm going to check this one. And then I think I'm going to call it. Um, we made some good progress, though. Yeah, this one's just Grand Bestowment as well. I assume they get upgraded by people doing the town project board stuff. But you also get a decent amount of coin, like... Uh... 60 to 100 coin per thing is not bad. <laughs> Always happy to see a fellow soldier of fortune. How can I help you, mate? May as well take those. I think we need to crack open a gypsum orb or something. I don't have any of them here. Uh, as far as I recall, I left everything in Brightwood, right? The diamond gypsum orb. Yeah, craft one of those and then... I might go life staff, honestly. Do a life staff cast. Oh, another plus nine.
pretty good. Plus one focus. Yeah. Nice. I need my other gear though. I'm gonna dump everything in here. I need to get my other gear before I do anything else. Yeah, all of our fishing stuff was here. I really should hold on to this because I don't want to forget that I have it. All of this event stuff. You can't put your coins, your tokens, in your storage. Which is interesting. Uh, I think I put all of it... I thought I put all of my gear in here. Yeah, I did. Alright, we need... Yeah, this may be good to wear. Will this keep us? I want to see something. Egg. This, this. It's right. Yeah, that just keeps us under medium. So. We can wear a heavy chest wear and then medium everything else. So this versus this. Yeah. But as far as gear sets go, like, we really need to... This is why I keep all of my gear in one place, so I can kind of sort it out like this. Uh, we're gonna need to find gear that's... I mean, we actively are trying to find gear that's better but right now we're using the best we've got we're almost at 300 focus 300 focus isn't necessarily good though oh that's actually kind of good This is what we really wanted, though. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I will um, I'll either be on later tonight or in the near future. But yeah, I'm leaving it here. GG's.